Have you ever wondered why some people seem to get so much more done despite having the same 24 hours in a day as the rest of us? It's a question that's been asked time and time again, often leaving us scratching our heads in puzzlement. Welcome to the fascinating world of productivity. It's a realm where the ticking of the clock is not the enemy but rather an ally. It's a place where getting things done is not just about the hustle and bustle, the endless to-do lists and the back-to-back -back meetings. It's much more than that. It's about working smarter, not harder. It's about making each moment count. Productivity is an art, a science, and a bit of a puzzle. It's an enigma that has puzzled thinkers and doers alike for centuries. But what if I told you that the key to unraveling this mystery might be a simple principle? A principle so straightforward, yet so powerful, that it could transform the way you work, the way you live, and the way you perceive the world around you. This principle is not a magic bullet, nor is it a one-size-fits-all solution. It's a tool, a lens through which to view your tasks and goals, your efforts and outcomes. It's a mindset that challenges the conventional wisdom of more is better. It's a shift in perspective, a different way of thinking that prioritizes quality over quantity, effectiveness over efficiency. It's about understanding that not all hours are created equal, that not all tasks are of equal importance, that not all efforts yield equal results. It's about recognizing the inherent imbalance in our work and our lives. It's about leveraging this imbalance to our advantage. This simple principle, this transformative mindset, this powerful tool is known as the 80-20 rule. Join us as we delve deeper into this intriguing concept, unravel its mysteries, and unlock its potential to boost your productivity. Because at the end of the day, it's not about having more time. It's about making the most of the time we have. This simple principle is known as the 80-20 rule. So what exactly is this 80-20 rule? Well, you might be surprised to learn that the 80-20 rule isn't some newfangled productivity hack. It's actually a principle that's been around for quite some time and it's got a real fancy name too, the Pareto Principle. The Pareto Principle, or the 80-20 rule as we'll call it here, was named after Wilfredo Pareto, an Italian economist. Pareto noticed something fascinating in the early 20th century. He observed that approximately 80% of the land in Italy was owned by 20% of the population. But it didn't stop there. Pareto began to see this ratio everywhere. From his garden, where 20% of the pea pods produced 80% of the peas, to economics and even to areas of health and science. So what does this all mean? Well, the 80-20 rule essentially states that in many situations, a small number of causes, about 20%, are responsible for a large portion, about 80% of the effects. In other words, the majority of results come from a minority of inputs. Now, it's important to note that the numbers don't have to be exactly 80 and 20. They're just indicative. The core idea is that there's an imbalance between inputs and outputs. Effort and reward are not linearly correlated. A small amount of effort can lead to a large amount of results and vice versa. So for example, in business, it might be that 20% of your clients are responsible for 80% of your sales. Or in your personal life, Perhaps 20% of your wardrobe is worn 80% of the time. But how does this principle apply to our daily lives and productivity? I hear you ask. Well, that's what we're going to delve into in the next scene. 
so stay tuned as we unpack the power of the 80-20 rule and how you can leverage it to supercharge your productivity. You may be surprised to find that the 80-20 rule can be seen in action all around us. Let's start with a simple and relatable example, your wardrobe. Take a moment to think about the clothes you own. Chances are you wear about 20% of your clothes 80% of the time. That's the 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto Principle, in action. Now let's take this a step further into the world of business. In many companies, it's often observed that 80% of sales come from 20% of customers. This is a crucial insight for businesses as it can guide them to focus their resources on maintaining relationships with their most profitable customers. But it's not just sales. The 80-20 rule can also be seen in wealth distribution. It's a well-known fact that a small percentage of the world's population controls a large portion of its wealth. In fact, according to the Credit Suisse Global Wealth Report, the richest 20% of the world's population owns about 80% of the global wealth. And it's not just our wardrobes or the business world where the 80-20 rule applies. It can also be applied to our personal time management. Ever noticed how a small number of tasks often take up the majority of your time? Or how a few major problems cause most of your stress? That's the 80-20 rule at work again. In essence, the 80-20 rule suggests that a relatively small number of inputs leads to a disproportionately large amount of outputs. And while it's not always an exact 80 to 20 ratio, this principle serves as a reminder to focus on the most important things that yield the biggest results. It's clear that this principle is more prevalent than we might initially think. Now, let's dive into how the 80-20 rule can boost your productivity. Imagine you're standing in front of a mountain of tasks, wondering where to start. Well, the 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto Principle, can be your guide. This principle suggests that 80% of your results come from just 20% of your efforts. This means that not all tasks are created equal. Some are more significant and impactful than others. Think of your to-do list as a garden. In this garden, you have a variety of plants, but only a select few yield the fruits of your labor. These are your 20% tasks. They are the ones that make a real difference. They contribute to the bulk of your outcomes your successes, your achievements. It's not about being busy. It's about being productive. And being productive means focusing on the tasks that deliver the most significant results. It's about quality, not quantity. So instead of watering every plant in your garden, you prioritize those that bear fruit. But how do you identify these fruitful tasks? Well, they are usually the ones that align most closely with your goals and objectives. They are the tasks that move you forward, that bring you one step closer to where you want to be. For instance, if you're a writer, writing a new chapter for your book might be a 20% task. However, checking emails or organizing your desk while necessary, might not contribute as significantly to your end goal of completing your book. Therefore, these tasks fall into the remaining 80%. It's important to remember that the 80-20 rule is not a strict formula, but a principle to guide your focus and efforts. The actual ratios may vary. Maybe for you, it's the 90-10 rule or the 70-30 rule. The key is to identify those tasks that yield the most significant results and focus your energy there. So 
the key question is how can we identify these 20% tasks? Identifying your 20% tasks is not as daunting as it might seem. It's like sorting through a box of puzzle pieces, looking for those corner and edge pieces that will help you see the bigger picture. To do this you'll need to set clear goals, prioritize your tasks, and maintain a willingness to review and adjust your task list. First, let's talk about setting clear goals. Think about what you want to achieve in your work or personal life. Once you've got a clear picture of your end goal, you can start identifying the tasks that will get you there. These are your 20% tasks, the ones that will give you the most significant results. Next, it's time to prioritize. Not all tasks are created equal. Some are urgent, others are important. Some might not even be necessary. It's crucial to distinguish between the ones that are important and urgent, important but not urgent, urgent but not important, and neither important nor urgent. Your 20% tasks will typically fall into the first two categories. But how do you determine which tasks fall into these categories? This is where constant reviewing and adjusting of your task list comes into play. No task list is set in stone. Circumstances change, new tasks come up, and old ones become irrelevant. You should regularly reassess your tasks and adjust your priorities to stay aligned with your goals. Remember, the 20% tasks are the ones that align with your goals and have the potential to produce significant results. They're not necessarily the easiest or the quickest tasks, but they are the most rewarding. It's also important to note that the 20% tasks might not always be the ones you enjoy doing, but that's okay. Productivity isn't always about doing what you love. It's about doing what needs to be done to achieve your goals. But identifying these tasks is just the first step. Now we need to focus on them. Stay tuned as we delve into how to dedicate your energy and resources to these tasks in the next scene. You're on your way to mastering the 80-20 rule and unlocking a new level of productivity. Scene script. Focusing on your 20% tasks is where the real productivity magic happens. Picture this. You've identified your 20% the tasks that yield 80% of your results. Now the challenge is to focus on these tasks and make them a priority. How do you do that? Firstly, try time blocking. Dedicate specific blocks of time to these high priority tasks. This could be first thing in the morning when you're fresh and energized or at a time when you're most productive. The key is to be consistent. Make this block of time non-negotiable. Treat it as an important appointment with yourself. Secondly, eliminate distractions. This is easier said than done in our hyper-connected world, but it's crucial. Turn off notifications, create a quiet workspace, and establish boundaries with colleagues or family members during your time block. You'd be surprised how much you can accomplish when you're not constantly interrupted. Thirdly, delegate or eliminate less important tasks. If a task doesn't fall into your 20%, consider if it's necessary. Can it be eliminated? If it's necessary but not a good use of your time, can it be delegated? Remember, your time is valuable and should be spent on tasks that move you closer to your goals. Lastly, Remember to take breaks. This might seem counterintuitive, but taking regular breaks can actually increase productivity. It gives your brain a chance to rest and recharge so you can return to your tasks with renewed focus. The 80-20 rule isn't about working harder, it's about working smarter. It's about understanding where your effort is best spent 
and directing your energy accordingly. It's about making the most of your time and achieving more with less. So, start today. Identify your 20%. Block out time for these tasks. Eliminate distractions. Delegate or eliminate less important tasks. And remember to take breaks. It may take some time to adjust, but the results will be worth it. By focusing on these tasks, you'll see a significant boost in your productivity. The power of the 80-20 rule lies in its simplicity and universality. The beauty of the 80-20 rule, or the Pareto principle as it's often known, is that it can be applied to virtually any area of life. But when it comes to productivity, this rule becomes a game changer. It helps us to understand that not all tasks are created equal. Some tasks have the power to contribute more to our goals than others. Imagine you're a juggler, balancing multiple balls in the air. But not all these balls are of equal weight. Some are heavier, demanding more of your attention and energy. These are your 20% tasks. They may require more effort, but they yield 80% of the results. By recognizing this, you can focus your energies where they matter most, leading to better time management. The 80-20 rule also acts as a stress relief. Instead of running around trying to do everything, you can confidently prioritize your tasks. You know that by completing the vital 20%, you're driving 80% of your productivity. This understanding can reduce overwhelm and lead to a more balanced, less stressed work life. But the power of the 80-20 rule doesn't stop there. Not only does it boost your productivity and reduce stress, it also frees up time. Time that can be used for other important aspects of life. Time for personal growth, for relationships, for relaxation. The 80-20 rule, therefore, promotes not just productivity, but overall well-being. In a world where we're often stretched thin, the 80-20 rule offers a path towards efficiency and balance. It's a tool that can help us navigate the complexities of life, making us more effective and satisfied in the process. So remember, it's not about doing more, but about focusing on what truly matters. It's about recognizing the power of the vital few over the trivial many. It's about understanding that less can indeed be more. The 80-20 rule is more than just a principle. It's a way of life. Despite its benefits, implementing the 80-20 rule isn't without challenges. One of the most common hurdles is resistance to change. It's human nature to feel comfortable in our routines and our habits, even when they're not serving us well. Embracing the 80-20 rule means breaking away from these habits, and that can be daunting. The solution? Start small. Choose one area of your life or work to apply the rule to and gradually expand its application as you become more comfortable with the approach. Another challenge can be identifying the 20% tasks. Those tasks that yield 80% of the results. It might seem overwhelming at first, especially if you have a long list of responsibilities. The key here is to take a step back and objectively evaluate the impact of each task. Ask yourself, what are the tasks that really move the needle? What activities deliver the most value? This might require some trial and error, but with time, you'll get the hang of it. And then, there's the tendency to slip back into old habits. It's easy to fall back into the trap of equating busyness with productivity. The 80-20 rule is not about doing more, it's about doing what's effective. To overcome this, make a conscious effort to remind yourself 
of the benefits of the rule and the progress you've made. Keep a journal, use an app, or find a mentor who can help keep you accountable. Lastly, don't beat yourself up if you stumble. Remember, the 80-20 rule is a tool to enhance productivity, not a rigid framework that you must adhere to perfectly. It's okay if you don't always get it right. What's important is that you're making a conscious effort to focus on what truly matters, and that's a significant step towards becoming more productive. With the determination and consistency, you can overcome these challenges and make the 80-20 rule work for you. Let's revisit the key points about the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto Principle, is a powerful tool that can help us unlock our productivity potential. It's a simple yet profound concept that suggests that 80% of our results come from just 20% of our efforts. In the context of productivity, this rule encourages us to identify and focus on the 20% of our tasks that yield 80% of our desired outcome. It's not about being busy with countless tasks. It's about being effective with the right tasks. Just like how a gardener prunes a tree to foster grow, we too should prune our tasks, focusing on those that truly matter. The power of the 80-20 rule lies in its ability to help us prioritize enabling us to concentrate our efforts on high-impact activities and minimizing time spent on low-impact tasks. Applying the 80-20 rule to our daily lives isn't always straightforward though. It requires a keen sense of discernment to identify our 20% tasks. We may need to step back, reflect, and objectively assess our tasks and their respective impacts. Another challenge in implementing the 80-20 rule is the temptation to revert to old habits. It's easy to fall into the trap of equating busyness with productivity. Remember, being productive doesn't mean doing more. It means doing what's most impactful. Overcoming these challenges requires persistence and a willingness to change, but the rewards are worth it. By applying the 80-20 rule, we can enhance our productivity, reduce stress, and create more time for what truly matters in our lives. In essence, the 80-20 rule is a mindset shift. It's about recognizing that not all tasks are created equal and that our time and energy should be channeled towards those tasks that bring us closer to our goals. Remember, productivity isn't about doing more, it's about doing what matters most. The 80-20 rule is a powerful tool that can transform your productivity. We've journeyed together through the fascinating terrain of the 80-20 rule and its profound implications on productivity. By now, you've seen how this simple yet potent principle can revolutionize the way you work, think, and live but understanding the rule is only the first step. The real magic unfolds when you start applying it, when you take that leap to incorporate the 80-20 rule into your daily life. You've seen the map, now it's time to embark on the journey. Imagine a world where you're no longer suffocated by the trivial many, but instead empowered by the significant few a world where you're not constantly chasing after a never-ending to-do list, but are instead focusing on the tasks that truly matter. That's the world that the 80-20 rule can open up for you. But let's be clear, applying the 80-20 rule is not a one-time event. It's a continual process, a mindset shift. It's about constantly identifying, evaluating, and focusing on your crucial 20%. It's about making conscious decisions to spend your time, energy, and resources on tasks that yield the maximum results. And yes, it might seem challenging at first, 
you might face resistance, both from within and from the world around you. But remember, every significant change comes with its set of challenges. And overcoming these challenges is what leads to growth, to transformation. The potential benefits of the 80-20 rule are immense. Increased productivity, better time management, enhanced focus, less stress, more satisfaction, the list goes on. And the best part? These benefits are not confined to your professional life. They spill over into every aspect of your life, enriching it in ways you might not have imagined. So go ahead, take the plunge, start applying the 80-20 rule in your life, start focusing on the tasks that matter most. Start prioritizing the significant few over the trivial many. Embrace the 80-20 rule and unlock your path to exceptional productivity. It's your journey, your transformation, your paths to productivity. And it starts now.